Do you skateboard? Do you work out and skateboard? Or do you just skateboard? Or do you just work out? Or do you not do either? Topic of this video is should you work out if you are a skateboarder? And there are pros and cons to this. Um, there's not really a yes or no answer, but I felt like I needed to talk about it because I do both. I'm gonna list some of the pros and some of the cons of working out if you're a skater, and then we're gonna go along this journey together. But first, look at this background. It looks, it's like not even real. Like the sky is just perfect today. Pro number one, you are less likely to get injured. Like, so if you land and you bend your knee backwards, you're gonna, it's not gonna be fun, no matter what, no matter how many workouts you do or how much you can lift or anything like that. But when you work out, you develop muscle, obviously. And that muscle is like a shield. Cause I noticed as once I started skateboarding and I fell, it hurt. And then when I started working out after skateboarding, it still hurt, but it hurt less. I just, you know, I was like a bouncy ball. You know, I'd hit the ground, just sort of like bounce a little bit and I'd be fine. Versus whenever I was like super skinny, I'd hit the ground and I'd be like, Ugh, you know, like my bones would just be hurting because there was nothing in between my bones and the ground. You have to have a program, you know? You have to hit everything evenly. You have to spend time for each workout, figure out when you're gonna work out during the week. And that takes, that takes time and it might take time out of your skating which means you will be less consistent because you won't be able to skate as much. So that is something you need to consider. Is since I started working out, I've had more energy. So you, you would think that when you start working out, your energy just plummets because you're you know, doing more stuff, lifting heavy things, and you'd think you'd be more tired. But I, once I got into a groove, like once you've, you, know, you work out, you haven't worked out, and you start working out, you're gonna be really sore and everything, and you're gonna be tired, but your body gets used to it you know that's kind of how it that's how you build muscle you know it, it develops the muscle and gets your body ready to do it again next time because you started doing it and then after a couple weeks of doing it consistently your your energy actually boosts i've noticed that it was actually it helped me in skating like i get way i don't get tired as much Whenever you're doing tricks like, uh, you know, you learn a kick flip or you're learning the uh, tray flip or you're learning any sort of trick, right? You have to move your feet in a specific position and it requires muscles that you didn't even know you had in your legs a lot of the time. Like with tray flips, that was so weird. Like I had one part, like my left leg, and there's one part that's just more muscular than the other one because I skate with, I skate, I'm goofy. So I skate with one foot on the back and one foot on the front and I don't skate switch very often, I should. Um, but I don't so my legs are uneven and that's not good so working out has helped me even out my body so like my right leg and my left leg are now even because I started doing workouts that hit both my legs evenly you know so my left leg is still stronger in some ways than my right leg because there's just some motions like this motion that I don't do as much and then there's also motions with this leg that I don't do with this leg as much, you know, just like the kickflip, I don't do that as much. That just means I gotta skate switch a little bit more. But uh, working out has definitely helped me even out my legs, which when you're starting out skating, you're not gonna skate switch. So working out while when you're starting skating really helps keep your legs even because let me tell you, you do not wanna go to the pool and have one twig leg and one leg that's super jacked. It's really, that'd be weird. That's, that's pretty much all the pros that I can think of right now. If, if you work out and you skate and you have any pros you want to add to the list, uh, comment down below. Um, one of the cons though, if you start working out and you don't know what you're doing, you can't, there's a good chance you're going to injure yourself and it's going to hurt skateboarding. So you really want to make sure that you start off simple just with push-ups and you know, sit-ups and leg raises and you know pull-ups and stuff like that so you develop the muscle to actually get into the gym and start lifting heavy things that is very important or else if you because if you don't know the proper technique for all of the basic stuff like push-ups and pull-ups and stuff you can hurt yourself really bad and that's not going to be good whenever you go to skate because you don't want to be injured while you're skating because that's not fun make your own decision on whether or not you want to start working out if you are a skater, um, I would recommend yes, but ease into it so you don't hurt yourself. If you guys have any pros or cons you want to add to my list, I definitely would recommend going down below into the comment section and then typing it into the comment and then entering the comment and then, you know, I'll read it. Click on this video or this video 
Um, they're both really good. Um, whichever one has the best thumbnail, and go watch it, and I will see you in it. So, later.